Hi everybody, it's Kim Karen with Karen Gallery and so glad you joined us today. It's been almost a week since we've been a live interview. We've changed to two a week because we opened up last week and uh, have been busy trying to get new art on the walls and um, get um, our artists back in, in a selling mode and they've been busy in the um, in their um, in their studios. So anyway, right on behind me, you'll see that it's Gary Walters over there. We're trying to keep our six feet. So you have me up close and he's going to be a distant. We're going to change that in just a second so you can see him a little bit better. But uh, Gary is a watercolorist and he is living in Clinton. Jackson. Jackson. I don't know why I just keep wanting to put you in Clinton for some reason. Sorry about that. So he lives there with his lovely wife and for many, many years, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your first wife and your second wife and your third wife. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. your, your same wife. They've been married for a long time, and it's it's great. So, um, so anyway, I wanted y'all to. He came up to bring us new inventory, and so I said, well, why don't we just do the live interview here today? So, um, so anyway, so let's get started. I'm going to ask him some questions and. Um, he doesn't know what they are, and I'm going to kind of back up and let y'all see him a little closer. So um, just kind of bear with me as I move this around and start asking him the first question, and he'll start answering, and I'll move that, that around. So um, the first question I want to ask you about, uh, Gary, is um, how did you become an artist? You know, what was your, what's your personal journey? Um, well, my, my father was an artist, and uh, he uh, inspired me as when I was about six, five or six years old. And then that, that started me, as it says in my book. And uh, then uh, I, I've always drawn and painted, as long as I can remember. <clears throat> we started off in elementary school and high school, college. And the, the best place, of course, to learn how to paint is behind the brush. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Like I tell my students, the main two art teachers are Dr. Try and Mr. Practice. Oh, I love it. I love it. So you um, so you teach some art classes? Well, I've taught art on every level for the last 30 plus years. And uh, from uh, kindergarten, elementary, high school, college, graduate school, professional artist workshops. So, yeah. So are you still doing some of the workshops now? Uh, well, not really. I'm just mainly basically painting now. I just yeah. solid painting. Right. Uh, I average 150 paintings a year usually. Yeah, it's amazing. We um, we have a, a great selection of your work uh, right now, and we're going to be swapping some of those out, so that'll be yeah. fun to see some new things that we um, haven't had before. So y'all bear with us. We'll take us a little while to get those all on the website, but um, we, um, we are excited about getting some new inventory today. Sure. Yeah. So, okay, so the next question I have for you is, um, well, it's going to be kind of obvious, but you can kind of expand on it a little bit. Okay. What is your primary medium? Well, watercolor is my primary medium. I've done 10 to 1 more watercolors than anything else, uh, but that's, that's my medium of choice. I've done thousands of watercolors, but that's where you learn to paint by painting. So what is, um, why, why did you choose watercolors over, say, oil or acrylics? Well, a lot of reasons. One thing, watercolors... You don't have to put up with the smells of the varnishes and right. all that stuff. Another thing, it's it's instant. You can go in the studio and start painting after open tubes and things. I'm gonna have my watercolors laid out on the palette, and you can, you know, you just and it it's just much more. And but and, and the excitement of putting paint on watercolor on paper and seeing how the colors mix and all is something that instead of getting tired of, you long for every day. Yeah, well, that's great. I mean, you know, it's, um, I always wonder how um, an artist has that ability to go in their studio every day and stay focused. And um, as I've learned from all these interviews, it's like when you have the passion, you're, you're happy to be there. Well, right. Well, and it's, it's really, it's a passion thing. And it's a hunger thing. You have a, it's almost like wanting your favorite food. And if you, and, and and if you don't eat, for, I, I, I might go for a month without painting, and then the next month I might do 60. So. Yeah, so it just kind of depends on what's going on. Right. Yeah, so um, tell us more about what your favorite imagery or your subject matter. Well, to me, the subject of any painting is the painting. Doesn't matter what the subject is, the painting is the painting. The composition of the painting, the colors, and uh, but they all have to work in harmony in what you... What you want is, is a, what you're doing is creating a world within your, your own world. If, 
you have a Van Gogh painting, for an example, and you look around it, if you take your finger and draw around the Van Gogh painting, you're going around Van Gogh's world. If you draw one around one of my paintings, you're going around my world. Mm -hmm. Because each artist has their own world. It's an individual thing. Well, I like that. I, I, I haven't heard it put it quite that way. I, I really do. I like that, um, that how you, you know, define that. You're working in your own world and because between every painting is a, is a world within itself, and it doesn't match, say, for an interior decorator. It doesn't really match a couch. It doesn't have to. Right, because it's, it has its own value, right. standalone value. It's a different Absolutely. world than the world of furniture and the draperies and all that. It's just yeah. the world of art. Exactly, exactly. Now, you tend to paint southern landscapes, a lot of delta landscapes. Well, I do it a lot, but I do, I look, do a lot of other things. I have so many paintings that you hadn't seen. Yeah, maybe I'll get to see something different yeah, today. Well, I've got, <laughs> I've got, yeah, you will, but, but I mean, I do a lot of abstracts. Okay. But to me, all painting is abstract because the only thing real in the painting is the paint. Right, right. So it's right. an abstract. Yeah, yeah. I love that. That's, 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 I lo I, like I said, I'm learning something every time I interview these artists. Oh. You're, all, you're all the artists. It's been great. Sure. Um, what is it tr like trying to paint with distractions, whether it's family, um, just life in general, you know, when you have a mental block, how do you how do you work through distractions so you can get, so you can stay focused in the studio? Well, what, what, what you do is uh, when I go into my studio, I'm going into my world. My wife has her the whole rest of the house in a way is hers. My studio is mine, and she's right. afraid to come in because she's afraid something <laughs> might fall on her. <laughs> but anyway, she's a real neat person, and as most artists are, ninety percent of the ones I've known are like me, and they're not very neat. But you don't, I'm yeah. not scared to throw paint anywhere. Yeah, well, I have learned that when I've asked artists to do these studio tours, they're like, well, i got to clean up first. And I was like, well, then that's not a reality right. of what you're painting in. That's I said, I want you to really just show. But now I do understand they want to present, you know, so people can really see what goes on and, and well, all. So well, you kind of have to need, straighten it up a little bit. That's right. Well, my wife but, would make me straighten mine up, but I wouldn't care. <laughs> but I think it's just been... Um, it's been really interesting to see the studios and see how they, where the place they create. And some people have, um, you know, a separate building. Some people have a bedroom. Some people have, it's all different, you know, you know, places. But at the end of the day, it's um, it's their world right. where they're creating, that's, that's you know, right. yeah. big little, uh, messy, neat, whatever it is. Right. It's um, it's their world and it's how they're creating that's and. Um, and like you said, it, and, a, and a lot of them have said this too, is that it's it's everything's shut out. It's right. just them in there, and I think that's just um, a very thrilling thing to hear. And for I'll me. say this: I've taught a lot of workshops, and most of them are women. And women do more work than men because they have more to do. I mean, like I'm, a, I don't have all this housework to do like my wife does. So I can, now, if she was the artist. She would have to get separated and then, so I, I can feel for women. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's definitely, a, a, I think, a balance for a lot of stuff. You know, these, some of these young artists have kids and right. they've got all these activities. Right. And um, I've told a lot of them, I said, now, you know, since we've all been, you know, sheltering in place, right. you know, there's there's no excuse for not being productive. That's exactly <laughs> right. That's true. Yeah. So I, well, I'll tell you, I have gotten a lot of artwork in the last uh, two weeks. It's been funny. A lot of yeah. artists getting getting working. things out. They've been working. It's been so fun to see it all. And what they're really creating. It's not working. It's more like play. If, if it turns into work, I wouldn't be a painter anymore. Right. I, I I don't blame you. Don't blame me. Well, you know, like I say, and these are your pieces behind. I'm going to kind of cut you out of it for a minute. I want people to see that, so they can see that you have a lot of color, or it could be more of just um, more subdued colors. But um, I just love how you um, create your your um, your watercolors. They're just beautiful. Let's see. Um, okay, so my last question I've always um, asked everyone is, and sometimes people have an immediate response and some just kind of struggle with it. So why do you paint and why did you not choose another career? Well, to me, painting is, of course, it's something I've done, always done. But it wasn't a choice I had. I, I was painting when I was a little kid, artist. I just stayed a painter. And... and uh, but anyway, uh, to me, God 
is the most creative artist in the world. If you don't believe it, hold up your hand and look at that wonderful working sculpture yeah. that he's done. And if we have a little bit of his creativity, which we do, then we can create, but of course not, not like he does, because he created us. We're a walking, talking piece of his art. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's great. I just Did you ever think of anything else, or did you always knew you were going to be an artist? I always knew it, because yeah. that's what I did when I was a kid. And just kept going. All in my books, and the teachers would keep the books. They'd be mad at me, but they, I noticed <laughs> some of them still had the books I'd read. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's neat. I think um, that you know most of the people that I've talked to are going to bring this back and see if I can kind of get a little bit into the... There we go. Um, most of the people I've talked to is, you know, have been... You know, knew that they were going to be an artist right. uh, from the from the get go. That's for sure. Um, all right. Well, we'll have to find out if you can do a studio tour for us and sure. send me a, a video, and we'll try to get that posted in the coming days. So maybe your wife can help you out and okay. um, send that to me. We'll post it on Instagram and Facebook. Okay. And um, I am a little behind. I'm getting things posted on Facebook, so I will try to get those studio tours posted on there as soon as sure. possible. And I'm going to record this interview. And I'm going to post it to uh, YouTube. I could not get them recorded last week. So I just want you all to know, please forgive me about that. And then, um, but I'll try to get this one recorded tonight and post it. And that way, people who didn't get to see the whole thing, they can come back and watch it later. Okay. Yeah. So let's see if there was any questions that anybody might have had. I don't see any questions. I had a few people that said hello. French Coast Studio said hello. And Lisa Gore said hello. Yeah. And... Um, that's all we got. So you must, you must know them. They're saying hello. Maybe. Some of them, the goers I do because Dr. Samuel wrote the forward to my book. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Your I was going to say, we've book. got a few copies of his book, and they're 29, 39, something like that. Yeah. But we have them. Like that. Yeah. But we have them, and um, if y'all want one, let us know, and we can ship it out for free, too. Okay. The book's not free, but the shipping is free. <laughs> all right. Well, y'all have a great day, and thanks for joining us.